What's going on everybody? Hey, before we get started with today's video, if you're looking for a super easy way to make some quick cash while you're pretty much doing nothing with all this alone time watching Netflix and stuff, I have a great solution for you. So back when I was an aspiring actor, in between my Uber and Lyft rides, I was on this service called Survey Junkie. And it's incredible because you literally make money just filling out these surveys. And the surveys will be anything about products you use, places you've lived, all kinds of different things. They're real fast, real easy to fill out. You save up those points and you can cash them out on PayPal or redeem them for prizes. And it's crazy because I literally used to do this. And I revisited the idea of it the other day because what was I doing? Sitting on the couch watching Netflix. So I thought, hey, you know, there's got to be a way I can monetize this time a little bit better. So I remembered that. I got back on, started filling out surveys and making some money. It's 100% legit. I can verify that because I've been a part of it for years, honestly. And um, yeah, you definitely want to check it out. So get on our uh, really good promo code. It's in the description and get started filling out some surveys. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Craig. Uh, what we're covering today is there is a new PUA program that is specifically for gig economy workers. And they uh, released the first, basically, program in California. Um, and I kind of had a feeling it would go to most states. And it looks like it is. Not every state is set up yet, but most of them are. Uh, so I just wanted to go over this program with you guys. This is pretty exciting. It's a lot of similarities to the first program that came out. Um, except this one's geared towards us, which is great because as we all pretty much learned, uh, almost all of us got rejected. I did, and I'm sure most of you did as well. I've only talked to a few drivers that actually got accepted through the program. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, it's going to be unveiled as soon as April 28th in most states. Um, by the time a lot of you guys watch, are watching this video, that's probably already April 28th. So I would go ahead and check this no matter what the date is because you don't know what state is and isn't activated yet, right? But California definitely is already set up for this. Uh, but yeah, so basically it's made for freelancers, gig economy workers, um, Uber and Lyft drivers, basically independent contractors. Um, what really happened was, you know, no one was set up for this, right? Like no state was ready for this. They had to build these programs in literally record time. And you're having gazillions of people apply for these programs. And I think things just got backlogged real quick. And this, it was probably naturally filtering out people who looked like they had less info available, which is generally us because we don't have consistent pay stubs coming from an employer. You know, most, I mean, even I'm sure you guys have all run into this. It, it's even tough with most services that require credit checks or um, application processes. Like I know getting into a new apartment is always really frustrating for me because they don't, you know, I can't, they're not going to accept screenshots from Uber and Lyft, right? And it's kind of like how this was. It was like they wanted everything we have to look like we're actually employees and we're not. So that being said, this is supposed to be geared towards us. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure they've covered um, all the grounds for it. So the great thing is the payments are retroactive. Um, so those of you who have been waiting to receive payments for several weeks, which again is probably going to be all of us, will get compensated for that time. So I believe it's $167 per week retroactively um, that we can all get paid out for. Um, it will. Uh, it's going to come out in three phases, it looks like. So phase one is 167 per week that you were unemployed from February 2nd to March 28th. That's like the retroactive stage. Phase two is 167 plus 600, which this again is sounding like what we were promised. You know, it was said to be 600 a week and then a stipend was what I always heard. And 167 bucks is pretty much a stipend. So, you know, it, it should be 767 per week that you were unemployed from March 29th through July 25th um, due to current reasons. 
So hypothetically, if this could go all the way to July 25th, you could be making 767 per week. For an Uber and Lyft driver, that's pretty solid because I doubt most of us were making 767 a week. Um, uh, da, 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 da. The extra 600 per week comes from the CARES Act. Yeah, that's what we originally were doing. And then the final phase is um, 167 per week for each week you were unemployed from July 26th through December 26th. Highly doubt that'll ever even go into effect because, I mean, there's states that are even starting to open up. So I would really be shocked if not everyone's opened up within like three full months. So not get anywhere near December. It's got a 30, 39 week cap. And um, yeah, that's the basis of the program. The qualifications for it are pretty simple. It's kind of, you know, like the original reasons we thought we needed for uh, sick pay and all the other things we talked about when this was all first, you know, really getting hammered out. Uh, basically, you know, if you can't work for reasons related to what's going on, you're good. You know, and that's like, I've explained this a few times, that's basically all of us, because there's no reason why any of us should be driving right now out of fear of catching this freaking thing. Um, I mean, I've always looked at Uber and Lyft driving as like one of the easiest ways to get sick in general, and with something as contagious as this, I mean, <laughs> that's all you need to say, Right. Um, because the other reasons are you're afraid that you'd get your family sick. Well, you can easily check that off too, if you're working. A lot of this is we don't have like the full, full information on what this program is going to be. And I believe it'll vary state by state, but I think most states are going to be adhering to this model. Now I know Wisconsin, I believe, um, I believe they're, they're one of the states that's set up and I know they were saying that it might only be 370 per week, or it could be 370 per week along with the 600 per week. So it, it's going to vary state by state, but basically each PUA program will be different. And at the very minimum, I believe you'll get 163 to 167 per week is like the bare minimum. And I don't know how they would calculate that, but I would imagine that would be if you're someone who's sitting pretty comfortable. Maybe you made 74,000, not 75. So you just barely didn't not qualify. Um, <laughs> but I really don't see how most of us wouldn't be able to get the 167 to 370 stipend essentially along with the 600. Um, I feel like Uber and Lyft is pretty clear cut that like we're in danger of it at all times, right? I, the only freelancers I really see not getting approved are people that do a lot of online work from home because your business shouldn't really be affected right now if you're not getting a ton of one-on-one -on -one contact. Now, there's always going to be an argument you can make no matter what you do that, you know, maybe it's just affecting your business and that's why you need it. Um, and I know you can get it for those reasons. You can even get it for reasons if you've just been out of work for a while too. So, they seem to be pretty chill and lax about who will get approved for this. Like, it seems like most people will. I think more of the, um, I think more of the dilemma is going to be that it's just so backlogged that some of us, unfortunately, it might take a while. I don't know if it's alphabetically. I don't know really at all how they're doing this, but um, some of us are going to get these benefits really quick and it's going to be great. Some of us will get them later, but the good news is everybody's going to get taken care of for the same amount of time because of the retroactive part, right? So no matter what, just know you're going to get what you deserved. You're going to get the same as everyone else, right? Um, it's just, some of us might not get it for a while. I'm, I still haven't gotten my stimulus check. Almost everyone I know has, I'm one of the only people I know that hasn't, but I know that, you know, if it is alphabetically, that would be why I also filed a little bit later than most. Um, I filed through TurboTax, which I know they said there was so many TurboTax submissions that that might make it take longer. There's so many reasons and and uh, factors that are going to play into when we get it but I think everyone can kind of have faith now that we are going to get it at some point you know 
I mean, the newer programs are made specifically for people like us because we kind of got screwed over on the last, on the first wave of unemployment benefits. Um, so, I mean, what's kind of cool is this could be some good money for a lot of us. I mean, if, if some of you really get 370 per week along with 600 through the CARES Act, to be making 970 a week from this is insane because I, I feel like I've said this so many times, but it's just so comical to me how I feel like so many people are going to be making more money through this than they actually did driving for Uber and Lyft. I don't know if they would even allow that to happen. I would have to imagine some of it was based off performance, but even even the what would it be seven sixty seven, um, even that I, I that's more than a lot of weeks when I drove. I mean, more part time. Obviously, I had weeks where I almost doubled that, but it, it's just funny to me. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty legit program. I'm thinking it's going to be more catered towards us. Like maybe it won't be submitting pay stubs, but it'll be submitting. Three months, three months of bank statements or something like that, and that's how they'll base how we get it. Um, but it's it's going to be it's going to be the thing for us. It's going to be the thing that you know saves us and gets us through this time. So definitely check that out. You know, be on the lookout for that with your state's websites. I would be monitoring them daily because I think the biggest lesson we learned from that is once these programs come out, you want to be one of the first to apply. Like you want to be jumping on that right away. So check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you check out Gridwise and Survey Junkie. Links will be in the description. And uh, I will see you guys soon.